COVID-19 pandemic has emphasised that there is no welfare and successful economy without the healthcare sector. It has demonstrated the importance of hosting and thriving health and life sciences sector which can quickly translate scientific breakthroughs into products and services for patients. To secure Europe's place as a global leader in the sector, we need to do more to make sure these breakthroughs occur in Europe to the benefit of European citizens. This means we need to build an EU policy and regulatory framework which is as attractive as possible for innovators to ensure those at the cutting edge decide to locate within our union. The complex factors influencing where developers decide to locate their R&D or manufacturing sites include infrastructure, access to skills and the strength of capital markets. However, one factor in particular stands out for me, that's digital and artificial intelligence. Digitalization will fundamentally change how we think about and deliver healthcare and services. It will transform the research community, the pharmaceutical industry, and the healthcare sector. With advances in digital data, new paths for concluding research and clinical trials are opening up. New sources of real world data and evidence are emerging and new ways for patients to take ownership of their data will come to the fore. Artificial intelligence will be particularly important here. I am optimistic about the possibility of new AI allow us to see the science in a new way to make the most of digital and AI potential. We, as policymakers, have a duty to develop a policy and regulatory framework which balances citizens' concerns around privacy, trust and ethics. It is crucial that we get the forthcoming proposals to create a European health data space and a regulatory framework for artificial intelligence right. I look forward to working with my colleagues in the Parliament, the institutions and the stakeholder community to ensure that we can create an ecosystem that puts Europe at the cutting edge of health and AI innovation in a way that serves European citizens.